So Sandra, you've got some new work here at the Attic Gallery. Can you talk about what you have on the wall here for this month, for the exhibit? All right. The new work is sort of a composite of uh, images of uh, cowgirls, cowboys, uh, that I've taken from photographs that I have collected over the years. And uh, I use them, and they're very representational. And because they're black and white photos that I draw from, you can see the eyes are shadowed. And I use a real kind of high key, low key with the lighting and such on them. But again, it's one of those where I want to give the feeling of the camaraderie right. and or the relationship between you know people, whether it be women you know, uh, in groups. The one that's down here called um, pap uh, excuse me, fresh strawberries and paprika. I did this one. Fresh from, strawberries and paprika. Yeah, paprika is the cat. Oh, okay. And uh, in the painting, uh, I did the basically background painting that was all this color. Okay. And it was this really wonderful phthalo blue. And then I painted on top of it, so the colors that came out were in contrast to this really cool color, but it became warm. And then to do the background light as backlighting, then I used this really, really warm uh, ochre and uh, gold color. Well, you definitely have your own style. And I can spot your paintings anywhere. There's several all over the area. What do you describe? How do you describe your work? Well, uh, when people uh, started collecting my work, uh, I was kind of considered representational. But then there was, I kind of turned a little bit and went into what we call party paintings because I also liked caricatures of people and telling a little short story or a small story. And it's usually when it was social. This is a social painting, but this is very much what I would call a softer, you know, in appearance and in subject matter versus to the ones that are on the other side that are let's definitely, go over there. Uh -huh. should we walk over there? Yeah, let's there? go over there, yeah. Yeah, that, um, that we're going with the aspect of being in a crowded bar, so you might hear the noise, you might see the interactions between the people, and it's always one of those where I crop it in really close with the people. So, you know, they're leaning in. Right. It's sort of like how people do selfies now where everybody tries. <laughs> but, but this is before selfies where right. everybody tried to get in the photo. <laughs> so this one, of course, this is a bar scene. And the characters are all very individual. And then this one, this is uh, I would love to. the most recent. I'm just and this one is pondering during the time of uh, COVID. And it kind of came out of that because uh, you can see people are trying to touch. They're trying to touch someone. Right. And we have been so uh, in a place where we haven't been six feet of separation kind of thing. Now to be squeezing back into the bar. And this man is kind of pondering, you know, it's called the veritable quandary. And he's pausing to think, is this going to be okay? So what usually happens So these are the party paintings. These evolved out of doing the ones, again, that were uh, my, which is a true love. I've been collecting uh, old photos for 30 odd years. And what I find about them is that the, uh, they're, they're ghosts, really, actually. And when you look at these images out of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, you're looking at these people who again were evoking a life and a lifestyle. And it was gentle. Very good. So the work is here all month in August at, at the Attic Gallery. Yes. And she does carry your work year round as well. She carries my work full time. And you're in California, but you lived in Portland for many years too, right? I lived in uh, Portland, yes, for about five or six years. Then we moved to California. I uh, lived in Laguna Beach for 34 years. And recently I moved out to the high desert, which is called Yucca Valley Joshua Tree. Sure. And uh, it's kind of return. I grew up in Eastern Oregon, which is sort of, again, the desert. And so to move back out there, yeah, I'm having sort of this, again, inspiration from wide open uh, space and sky. And uh, much more talented much more talented than living by the ground. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for asking.